this is almost a perfect representation of what a liquidity pool is. Interconnected as well and interdependent in the natural worlds. Welcome back to TalkChain. I'm Jessie, the host of today's AMA. So before we start, if you are new to TalkChain, we are a blockchain media based in Malaysia. Strive to serve the people by delivering quality blockchain and crypto-related content as our contribution towards this growing gem space. So today, we are really happy to have Marco, the BD lead of Yin Finance with us to share about their interesting project. Hi, Marco. Hi, Jessie. Thanks Hi, for the uh, introductions. So, Marco, why don't you start by introducing yourself and the team behind Yin Finance? Sure. My name is Marco, and I'm responsible for the external communications and collaboration in Yin Finance team. Also, like my main responsibility will be on our global marketing strategy, user growth, project collaborations, and pitches to venture capital funds, for example. For the team, we are an anonymous team. So the team here in Ying Finance consists of quite several, I would say, crypto scientists. Each of them has a very good DeFi development and community wide hats experience. Our team members also have good experience in DeFi project development, professional liquidity strategies, and also smart contract auditing experience. So the safety and the security of our project is ensured. Oh, okay. I think that's really experienced team. So before we go way too far, maybe you should introduce about Yin Finance with us. Okay, Yin Finance. What we are trying to do is to have a multi-strategy NFT liquidity management platform that actually allow users to subscribe to our liquidity management strategies, so that they can get a effectively higher yield. We aim to provide proactive liquidity management services on the different public chains and also decentralized exchanges. So now we are going to deploy our mainnet in the next few days' time on Ethereum mainnet, and then subsequently we will have planned to launch on a BSC, Polygon, Optimism, Solana, and Harmony. Oh, this is really exciting! Very soon, and you guys are actually gonna deploy in multi chains even sooner, right? Multi chains will actually come in the next quarter. The first one will be on Ethereum. Okay, great. So my next question is something I guess most people curious about to know that where does the project name come from, and why did you choose this name for your project? Yeah, I think this is a very interesting one. I think Malaysian Chinese probably can share a bit of this uh, culture background. The name of Yin is actually derived from the ancient Chinese philosophy. Of yin and yang, the concept of dualism describing how opposite or contrary forces may actually be complementary to each other, interconnected as well and interdependent in the natural worlds. This is almost a perfect representation of what a liquidity pool is that we can see on a Uniswap, for example, because it requires a balance of two assets that are being added to the same pool. If one asset started to decreasing in volume, the prices get raised up to a level where equilibrium is restored. Between the both assets, so this is the reason why we have this yin and yang type of balance, or and then we call ourselves the project Yin Finance. Yeah, when I first saw, I was like, there must be something to do with our Chinese culture, okay, which is really interesting. Let's move on to my next question. Would you mind to elaborate further on Yin Finance and what are the different features that users like us can expect? Okay, sure. It should be quite easy one. So we mainly have four modules. So once our mainnet is launched, if you go to our website, you'll be able to see. Or even now on the more on the testnet part, the first one is the Yin Y I N, which is a governance token. It's it's already been listed on a few exchanges like Gate, Dodo, and the Uniswap, for example. The second one will be Yang Y A N G. This represents the user's personal vault. So the user need to go to our web page to create a vault, and that an NFT represent by the name of Yang, for example. The third one is the most important one of our projects. It's a Qi. It's actually the programmable strategies where we use this as the strategy where user can subscribe to. So at the beginning, the strategy is going to be provided in house, and subsequently in the future, the strategy can be provided by the user themselves. Lastly, the fourth part is the grandmaster, the leverage pool. User can actually get leverage up to 10x. So the more Yin tokens that they hold, the more leverage that they can get. And apart from that, I think just on a general term, we are offering like active liquidity management. Also, we have automatically reinvestments for the users. So instead of themselves doing it manually, that costs a lot of fees. 
we do it automatically for them. And at the same time, we have a multi-party yield farming services for users. That's so much easier for you. So you don't no need to trouble them to enter the website and do it themselves again. And yeah. I think the whole web page design is really cool. When I first went in, I was like, wow, this is really, you know, yin yang, the kind of, it's just so nice. <laughs> No, we have good designers. <laughs> Definitely can tell. Okay, so okay, these four modules. So besides yin's right as a governance token, like you mentioned, maybe you can share more about the benefits of us having yin token and why we should purchase and hold them. So for yin tokens,、um, as I've said, it's already being listed and being traded. What I can share is there are five major, I would say, benefits for people to hold it, to have it. So the first one is that yin can actually be staked in the yin stake pool, where we're going to have、uh, on our main net, where user will be able to earn distributed platform transaction fees. And then the second one will be as a yin token holders as well,、uh, you'll be eligible for the governance of DAO, the decentralized auto- autonomous organizations, where you have the voting rights. For proposals and updates of our future developments of our projects, and the third one is the user can use this to leverage under the module, which is a grandmaster earlier. So the more Ying tokens they hold, they can leverage higher. The fourth one is user can also receive gain from the liquidations within the leveraged liquidity pool. So in the future, we actually envision ourselves to have borrowing and lending type of operations on the platform. So definitely, there there will be some liquidations event, and the Ying holder will be. Able to share that liquidation to profit as well. And lastly, if you want, if you're smart and you think that you have good strategy on Uniswap, you know, providing strategy, you can create strategy on our platform. But before you create strategy, you need to hold the Ying tokens. See, okay, thanks for the explanation. I believe now we have a better view of why we should get Ying tokens. But of course, before we jump into any projects, the main concern we must look into is always security. So, Marco, can you please share the solution of how Yin secure the money and what is the solution to secure? You know how Yin secure clients' assets. First one is from security standpoint. I think initially what I've mentioned is our you know team, even the founder, is actually from a white hat experience. So they, it's pretty. A solid the, the way they you know structure the platform, but of course for the external audit we do have it as well. So we are now being audited by two institutions.、Uh, one is Segbit, and another one is Slow Miss.、Um, Slow Miss audit is actually completed, and Segbit audit is actually from my internal understanding is coming up going to get approval in the next few days. Apart from the audit itself, we also have a relevant risk control measure in place in house internally. So security of the assets on our platform is definitely a good one. And、uh, on the second perspective, how reliable is our strategy? So at the beginning, all the strategy, the chief strategy, will be provided by a Ying team through a small team that we have is called Shadow Lab. Shadow Lab itself has a lot of members coming from Goldman Sachs, for example, Merrill Lynch. So they do have a very rich trading, strategizing. Of experience, even in the traditional financial market, so they are a premium research institutions where they're responsible for the research and development of our strategy. And of course, in the future, when we have strategy formulated by our users, we will have a strict、um, co- control and audit before the strategy is being released for public to subscribe. To. That sounds really promising. Yeah, you you guys will go through all the auditing, all the security part. Uh, before everything is launched on net, right? Yep. Okay. So,、uh, but what I understand is that there are a few service providers in the liquidity management space already. Can you share with us、uh, who are the competitors and what is Yin's unique selling point? So, in, in simple term, I think the liquidity management device definitely growing. And it's like an undiscovered gold mine for a lot of、uh, players. A lot of players also paid a lot of attention to this space already, even before the launch of Uniswap V3. So Ying Finance, we choose to be an active liquidity management platform, and、uh, we're definitely in a position to optimize better amongst our competitors. Just for reference, some players that are already in the market are such as like Visa, Charm, Token Mark, Unipilot, and、uh, Popsicle Finance. So now I take a taking Visa as, as an example. As we all know, Visa and Ying Finance share a very similar principles of active liquidity management. However, there are some differences. Visa's platform is the sole provider of strategies. 
they don't open it up for people to create strategy. And the focus on high volatility strategy in the right from the beginning. For example, ETH and USDC trading pair. And then for also like users mainly just get the fees from the liquidation liquidity providing. Whereas for Ying Finance, how we differentiate ourselves is that we definitely allow the user to create their own strategies, and then where they can get a cut of the profit. And at the same time, the our platform is going to pro- provide low volatility stable coin strategies as well. On top of that, for example, third party mining protocols and interoperability supported、um, for optimized strategy cap- capacity. So Ying's position is definitely more comprehensive in that sense, profitable and compatible platform for more users. Oh, understood. Very good comparison and、uh, detailed sharing. So with those unique selling points that you shared just now, right? I believe you guys must have attracted many strong support from others as well. So maybe you share with us about the partnership established and also investors for Yin Finance. So firstly, I would like to talk a bit about the partners that we have. So for now, we have quite a lot of official announcement already on our Twitter account, for example, about our cooperation. With like Polygon, Parsec, Parami, Onezo, Wepiggy. I mean, just the name of it. There'll be more official announcement coming up about the Yin Finance Corporations. Also, we have our weekly reports on our Twitter that give updates on all the developments, including partnerships from us. Some of our backers, including Fibusu Capital, Seven X, Asia Eight, RBC Capital. And Dudu as an exchange platform is also one of our backers. All these investors actually provide very strategic partnerships that help with the success of us. As we speak, we are also in contact with multiple other investors and actively looking for a synergy and potential value add from each of them. Polygon wise, as I mentioned, we got a grant from them, and I think sooner our next priority after mainnet will be Polygon. Yeah. So again, for backers, now we are still talking to a few. And then soon we'll disclose more about the grant and the funding that we get very soon on our channels. Now we believe all of us are really excited to see how far and fast Yin Finance grow. So finally, would you tell us more about your upcoming roadmap and how we can get involved in the journey with Yin Finance? In terms of the roadmap, last week or so we just got our、uh, Yin tokens listed. And in the next few days, we'll have our mainnet launch. After the mainnet launch, we'll try to observe and monitor our strategy in the next one month or so, starting from a quarter one next year, or you know late quarter four this year. We will start to launch on other chain, for example, polygons, optimisms. And towards the end of Q1, we want to have the user created strategy on our platform. And in between these two steps. We will also try to、uh, and enable the DAO,、um, the DAO feature on our platform, so it, it gets the more、uh, involvement from the Ying Fin Ying Finance tokens holders. So that's a quick one about our roadmap over the next three months or so. To get involved, really, please definitely try to follow our Twitter.、Uh, apart from Twitter, we do have Telegram's official accounts as well. In the Telegram group, feel free to ask any questions if you have any doubt. And secondly, to get involved, I would suggest you to buy some tokens. It's a good value now, definitely. And lastly, please definitely go and check out our Yin Finance website for a quick browsing. If you like or have any comment about what we have got to offer, please feel free to let us know. Thank you. So I guess that's all for my question, and I really enjoy such an informative sharing from you, Marco. We're really glad to see how far Yin Finance has come. And we look forward to seeing what you and your team can excite us again really soon. All right, I guess we have come to the end of this AMA. So, guys, as usual, do follow Yin Finance official social media channels and also welcome to subscribe Talkchain to get daily infos about blockchain and crypto news. All right, Marco, thank you so much for being here with us. Bye. I see you again. Bye.